New reaction to a law expansion. This week, Florida Governor Ron DeSantis announced the so-called Don't Say Gay law could be expanded to include all grade levels. And now the local LGBTQ plus community and its allies are coming together to protest that and another legislation they call anti-gay. Local 10's Hatzel Vela joins us live from Wilson Manors with the story. Hatzel. Janice, everything from uh, banning gay flags to going after businesses that host drag shows. Some of the things that are concerning the gay community here in South Florida as they get ready to rally. So the event is called March in Heels. It's happening in Wilton Manor Sunday. The LGBT community and its allies coming together, they say, to denounce a slew of proposed legislation they describe as anti-gay. A new bill. Uh, that came out of House bill that essentially bans pride flags from flying on government property. Crazily enough, there was an amendment to it where it would have been okay to fly a Confederate flag, but not to find a, fly a pride flag. I mean, it's unbelievable. The list is long, they say. The expansion of parental rights and education bill, what critics call the don't say gay bill, punishing businesses who host drag shows, which recently we saw right here in South Florida, and limiting the care of transgender youth. These aren't problems that we're out there solving. This is, this is literally just attempting to marginalize a community. Wilton Manor City Commissioner Chris Caputo, who is organizing Sunday's event, believes the attacks are being driven by the governor and his White House aspirations. It is such an overreach. It's beyond going back decades. It's so scary because it shows there is no limit to what's next. The event starts Sunday at 11 a.m. at the Pride Center. Then folks will walk to Wilton Drive. All of these bans put tremendous limitations on American freedoms. Orlando Gonzalez, executive director of SAVE, an LGBTQ advocacy organization, says gay advocates in the legislature are outnumbered by anti-gay legislators and a governor who touts, he says, parental rights, but supports laws that do quite the opposite. The things that we need to do is continue to arm ourselves and prepare ourselves for the next round of elections. And when you talk about elections and the role that they play, this is also an organization or a group that says they're going to be doing more voter registration. That also expected to be part of Sunday's event. For now, reporting live from Wilton Manors, I'm Hatsafella. Local 10 News. Hatzel, thank you. Meanwhile